What do you think of when you picture Dumwoody? Most think of the Dumwoody farmhouse. Why is the Dumwoody farmhouse so important? You may ask. The Checks Rule or Dumwoody Farmhouse is a historical landmark in the midst of Dumwoody. The Checks Rule Farmhouse was built in 1906 by Mr. Joberry Cheek for his son Bunyan Cheek. In 1945, the home was purchased by Mr. and Mrs. Rule. After the creation of the city, the farmhouse was chosen to be shown on major street signs of Dunwoody. Have you been a councilman? Well, I was the original city council. The city started in 2008, December 1st, 2008, and I was one of the first elected members of the Dunwoody City Council. Okay. But before that, can we start backwards? Because there's a whole history on how we became a city. Before I moved here, I moved to what I thought was Dunwoody, but we weren't a city. We were just unincorporated DeKalb County, and we were allowed to put the word Dunwoody as our city, but the city didn't exist. So what happened was, over time, we had the community of Dunwoody, but there was no city. And when people started looking at our tax bill, our taxes were going to DeKalb County for paving, parks, and police. And we didn't think we were getting enough services for what we were paying. So we were paying taxes, but we didn't think we were getting our fair share of the services. So we talked to the state legislature and the governor, and we put together the city charter, the rules of becoming a city, and we tried to get that passed in the state legislature. We went down to the Capitol, we passed, tried to pass a law, and it didn't pass the first year, it didn't pass the second year, and finally it passed three years we tried to become a city down there. A long time. A long time. And we finally got it to pass the state legislature, and we had to have it signed by the governor. And then all that did was say that Dunwoody can become a city. First, the city charter is introduced to the Congress. Next, hearings and reports are done by the House and Senate committees. This is followed by a vote. If the bill receives a majority, then the bill is either approved or vetoed by the governor. If approved, the bill becomes a law. This is the bill process specifically for the city of Dunwoody. In 2006, a feasibility study was done by the University of Georgia on the feasibility of becoming a city. Later in the year, the first attempt of the bill for becoming a city was introduced to the state. This attempt was withdrawn. In 2007, the bill was presented to the state once again. This time, the bill made it to the lower house, but failed soon after. Finally, in 2008, the bill was reintroduced and passed. Now Dunwoody had the authority to become a city. But a citizen vote was still necessary. The leaders of Dunwoody includes, but not limited to, Citizens for Dunwoody, a volunteer organization to study the feasibility of becoming a city. Dunwoody Yes, a political action committee to persuade the residents of Dunwoody to get the polls and vote yes. Honorable Harry Geisinger, in Georgia House of Representatives. First to try to pass the bill to turn Dunwoody into a city. Honorable Dan Weber, former senator, held first public meeting to create a city and submitted the bills to becoming a city in 2006. Honorable Tom Taylor, co-president of Citizens for Dunwoody, Georgia House of Representatives. Honorable Fran Miller, Georgia House of Representatives, supported the bills in the House, and a senator. Ken Wright. He was the first mayor of Dunwoody, co-president of Citizens for Dunwoody, and former president of Dunwoody Homeowners Association. John Hennigan, city council member, member of Citizens for Dunwoody, and former president of the Dunwoody North Civic Association. Denny Shortle, 
co-chair in Dumbledore Yes, and a city council member. And Bev Wingate, also a co-chair in Dumbledore Yes. This picture shows the first Dumbledore City Council. Denny Shortle, Danny Ross, John Hennigan, Tom Taylor, Adrian Bonser, Ken Wright, and Robert Woodenstein. So would you say that forming a city resolved all the issues? Um, the city of Dunwoody was a great decision, by my opinion. We have never raised taxes since we became a city. We haven't raised taxes and we've kept the same amount of money that we were paying down to DeKalb County here in Dunwoody. And because of that, we were able to do a few more things than DeKalb County would have done for us. Awesome. There are many benefits Dunwoody has gained for becoming a city, and our main problems have been solved. For example, where the county would have built apartments, the city has built single-family homes, and we now control our local zoning. Before we became a city, you didn't see many police officers in Dunwoody. Now, you see Dunwoody police officers on a pretty regular basis. So we have about 50 police officers now, and that's all being paid by the taxes that your parents would have paid to DeKalb County, and there would have been a lot less police officers serving this area. Yeah. So that's a good thing. And then I think it's successful in the sense of the paving and the services. A lot of new roads are going in and intersections and parks. So we're trying to spend your parents' tax money wisely for police for protection because you want to have a safe place to live, roads so you can get around, you don't want to live in a place with bumpy roads, and then parks so that the kids can have places to play. Another main problem which led to becoming a city was police attention. Even though tax money was going towards police, local residents did not feel fully protected. Since we've become a city, Dunwoody has provided an exceptional police force. The city of Dunwoody has also added and improved roadways, which is sufficient to the community. Parks are important for all communities, and the city improves parks like Brook Run, Windwood Hollow Park, Georgetown Park, and also learning facilities like the Dunwoody Nature Center. The city has recently redone Windwood Hollow Park, built a park in Georgetown, and the city provided funds for a deck in the main area of the Dunwoody Nature Center. Also, the city has recently added a wheelchair accessible bike and walking path in Burke Run Park. Do you have a sports field near you? If not, would it be nice to? The city council has also considered building a sports field in an open area near Burke Run. Many people think that becoming a city was a huge success. Problems with local zoning as well as police have been reduced. And the community has benefited from doing improvements on roads and parks as well as other projects. Now that we've become a city, there is still room for improvement. GLASS, or Georgians for Local Area School Systems, is an advocacy group promoting the passage of a bill so that Dunwoody and other Georgia cities can create their own school systems. Though it was a lot of work for many leaders, becoming a city was well worth it.